What is up everyone? Andy Kruger here. Recently, I changed my dog from kibble to a raw diet. This video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. All right, y'all, so the age old debate. What's better, kibble or raw, kibble or raw? Look, there's definitely some healthy brands of kibble out there. Some brands are way better than other brands, but nothing is healthier for a dog than a proper raw diet. My Belgian Malinois, he's seven years old. He's been on kibble his whole life. I've always had it in the back of my mind to put him on raw, but to be honest, I'm busy and I got a lot of dogs, so I just haven't. But now I have, look, I'm not here to promote a specific brand. I know everyone's gonna be like, come on, Andy, where'd you get it? I'm not here to promote a specific brand. Literally pull up Google, type in raw dog food diet, your zip code, and the whole first page, I'm sure will be a lot of great options for you. This company that I've gone with, I do like the quality that they send, but the shipping is high. So I might venture off and find a different brand, but it's working good for now. This is what they do. This is what they send you. This is five pounds. It's frozen, but they do all the work for you. In a raw diet, you need a balance of meat, organ, and bone. All of those things, depending on your dog, the size of your dog, what your goals are, you need all those. You can't just give them ground beef. They're gonna be missing out on a huge portion of nutrients. So you definitely need the organ. You definitely need the bone. Like I said, guys, I got a dog training business. I got a family, I got a bunch of dogs of my own. I'm busy. I don't have time to go to a butcher and get off cuts and then measure it. And then this company does it all for you. What this is, it's a beef blend of 80-20-20. 80% meat, 20% bone, 20% organ. So they do all the work for you. Again, it's five pounds. My dog Jasper is probably 55, 60 pounds. He should eat like roughly two pounds a day, depending on activity. You can grab a scale, you can weigh it, but honestly, I just eyeballed it. I eyeballed it. How did people know what to, how much to feed their dogs before scales? You look at the dog, you go, he looks skinny. He looks fat. Let me add a little more. Let me add a little less. So I do the old eyeball trick, but generally a couple pounds a day for a medium, large size dog, you could say that's fair. Okay. Dog bowl. Farm fresh eggs. Now we have our, we have our own chickens here. We get a ton of eggs. So I like to throw one in with my boy's food. You can even put these in kibble if you want, but I got my egg and I also like fish oil. So I'm gonna grab me a tablet, just one. Oh God. Okay, egg, fish oil. Here's the parts you guys are gonna like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. If you're grossed out by this, don't be a baby. It's just meat, okay? Don't be a baby. If you're grossed out by it, use kibble. But this consistency, it literally, it's just, it has almost the same consistency as like a ground beef. It's all ground up. So here's what I do. I know people are probably gonna kill me in the comments for not wearing a glove. I just washed my hands. So I'm gonna take it. Look, just so you can see, that's the consistency. I mean, it's really just like ground beef. Put it in there. I thought about busting out a busting out a glove for the video, and then I'm like, you know what? It's not normally what I do. Okay. That's about what I feed him right there. If you want to weigh it, if you want the exact, feel free to do that. But I feel pretty good about the amount there. Now my little Jasper boy, he's a little, little finicky. He doesn't like to take the fish oil tablet, so I just shove it in there. 
and cover it up and then hope he doesn't notice. Here comes the egg. You can actually put the shell right in there and it's fine for the dog to eat, but Jasper, he's a finicky little guy. He don't like that. So there's what we got. There's what we got. Should I go get the boy? Time for the payoff? Time for the payoff? Let me get it. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, hey, this buddy. Whoa, oh, oh, hey, what do we got here? What do we got there, fella? What do we got there? Climb. Boom. It doesn't climb. It doesn't get any better than that. Look at this boy. Yeah. He's like, what are you doing? Just give me the food. Why are we doing that? Jasper approved. I don't recommend hovering over your dog with a cameraman while they're eating. <laughs> but for the sake of the video, we'll do it. My guy here, he's pretty comfortable that we're not gonna steal the food from him. Guys, that's how long it takes, it's gone. That was probably a pound and a half, two pounds, it's gone. Two seconds scarfs it right up it's really that simple I feed him once a day that's just me that's what I find is best for him I go once a day I do that same procedure and it's been going awesome for him he was on kibble for seven years seven years this is all I did I fasted him for one day 24 hours absolutely no food and then the following day, I just introduced the raw. Just gave it to him and he scarfed it down. Now those first 24 to 48 hours, let your dog out a lot more often than you usually would because it could give them runny stool, little diarrhea. Uh, but my boy was perfect with it, no problems whatsoever. So it's not a complicated process of switching it over. Now, I'm not a doctor, but that's what worked for me. So. Take it with a grain of salt, but it's really that easy. You need some freezer space. You need to think ahead because when these suckers are frozen solid, it takes a minute for these things to thaw. Look, I should have read this originally. Ingredients, beef heart, beef meat, beef bone, beef spleen, beef sweetbreads. I don't even know what that means. Beef bull fries. Okay, I don't know what any of that means. 13% protein, 9% fat, calories, 1,680, something or other. Wash hands before using. I did that. So there's the beef. And most companies, you can go beef, you could go chicken, you could go pork. So I do plan to switch it up a little bit and give different proteins than just the beef. Jasper. Hey, that boy now. Here you go, me, little boy now. There we go. Oh, just wanted to make a quick appearance at the end of the video. That's the raw though, y'all. Don't be scared. Google it. Find somewhere close to you. If you just have one dog and a bunch of time, you can get it a lot cheaper and do it on your own. I don't even really remember what this costs. I mean, it's not the cheapest, but it's not crazy. Um, try it out. You got nothing to lose. Raw diet. I think it's a lot healthier. Let me know. See you on the next video. Yeah. Now, is this causing her a little bit of stress? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. When you're a dog trainer, you're training other people's dogs. This isn't my dog. I don't have that connection with her. I'm not going to have her for a year. She already has a bunch of problems that she came with. So is she experiencing stress here? Yeah. Do we nerf the world so our puppies never feel a hint of stress? absolutely not stress isn't necessarily a bad thing and i'm going to tell you right now why it's fine she feels stressed about this because nothing bad is happening to her i'm not correcting her i'm not raising my voice i'm not pulling the leash harder when she resists i'm not doing any of that nothing bad's happening to her i'm not punishing the dog in any way so it's okay for her to feel a little bit of stress 
because as long as I do my job, she'll get over it and she'll be totally fine. 